Hey guys, JC Smith here. I um, wanted to show you something that's pretty common. I ran into this today again. This is the engine from our 2013 F450. This is the donor truck. Um, this is a common problem whether you have a 543 valve or a 683 valve, which is what this is. This is a V10. What happens is you lose compression, and this this truck lost compression. You can see right here. There's a the valve spring just laying down in there. The keeper's gone. And this is the third cylinder back on the passenger side, so it'd be number three, I believe. What happens is those rollers, the needle bearings in those rollers fail, and it stops spinning. And when it stops spinning, it ejects it. Let me get this piece out here. And sometimes it jams it against something and breaks it apart like that one and here's the rest of it down here now what usually happens is it wipes out the cam and this cam I don't know if you can tell it's pretty rough so the likeliness that this engine can be saved is pretty slim if you look I don't know if you can see this down in here I'm trying to get a picture see this this is a the lifter here yeah I don't think I can get it apart here um, but it's absolutely destroyed and I'm gonna roll this engine over maybe you can see the see the cam lobe that's horrible right here yeah you can see the scratches in it you'd never be able to use that again and I don't think you could have that reground. So it destroyed this one. Let's see which one we're on here. And let's see. Possibly this one on the other side. Yeah, there you go. That one you can actually actually see the ridge where it was stuck. So, and usually what happens is the the valve drops down and hits the top of the piston and breaks the piston. Um, I bought this truck for that cab, of course, it didn't matter, but um, you know, you could probably take the head off, fix it, and put it back together. But the problem is all these grindings from this cam. Boy, I wish it'd show up better. Let's see if it'll show up any better. That's just horrible. That's a little better. It'll focus on it, would be alright. Anyways, so you could take the head off, send it out. More than likely, it could be fixed if there's no piston damage. But I'm going to be taking this truck apart, this engine apart, so um, we'll see what happens. I'll bring you along and let you know what I found. Um, the other side seems to be okay. It's running good compression on all of them except for the number three cylinder. Um, I've got 140 pounds of compression on each one, so maybe we might get lucky. I do have a parts engine that may have a good head if we need it, but um, I'll have to take the cam or the uh, rod bearings and main bearings out and look at them before we can make a decision if it's going to be something we repair or if we just scrap the engine, keep it around for parts maybe. But uh, just something I wanted to share. If you got a 5.4 three valve from 05 up or a uh, 6.8 three valve from 2005 up this is the kind of things we see so um, I'll tear it down I'll bring you along so uh, that's it for now but uh, watch for the next one I'll have this thing hopefully I'll, I think I'm gonna tear it down I may not but um, I'd like to see what the piston looks like so if I do I'll bring you along thanks Hey guys, a little bit more on this engine. Um, we might have an oil supply problem. Um, maybe a plug galley or something, because here's another one. Um, that's on number one. It showed good compression. And as you can see right there, turn that around again. Right there. That's a pretty good look on that one. Yep. Um, also, 
I haven't been able to locate the uh, the retainer or the clips for that spring. I don't know where they got to. They're probably in the bottom of the pan. Uh, I've rolled this motor over pretty good, and it's actually oiling. But again, I don't know if it's a you know cam follower. Roller bearings bad. Look how hot that's been. I mean, it's you can see right here how this one. And it's loose, it's ready to fall out now. But you can see how much darker it is than all these others. Like this one's a little dark too. So there might be might be more to this than we know. Uh, again, um, if I tear it down, I'll bring you along. But after seeing this, I'm going to go ahead and pull the other valve cover. And see what that side looks like just for, just for information. Because I'm not sure, that's, that's three on one side. And I really didn't go through and try and grab all of them and check them, but um, you know, uh, doesn't take a genius to figure this out. Boy, that valve is stuck. That valve might be bent. Piston might have hit it and smacked it. Uh, there's definitely some damage in there. Anyways, I'll get the other valve cover off. I'm bringing it with me. Okay, guys, I got the valve cover off on the driver's side now. Um, I've looked everything over and. It really looks pretty good. This side was showing an average of um, one high 120s to very low 140s in compression. Um, the average was about 138, 135, which is exceptional, you know, for this motor. Um, and except for the number three cylinder over there, and it had absolutely zero, nothing at all. Um, and I've looked at all the cam followers and. They all look in good shape. They they all look like they're rolling free. Nothing looks like it's stuck. There's no ridges on any of the lobes on the cam. Um, I'm gonna roll it over here so you can see. Yeah, as you see over and up in here, um, that's the oiling. So I mean, it it's making good oil pressure considering I'm on the. Uh, a cheapy old battery that I just shoved the connectors on the battery cables. I didn't tighten them up, but uh, so it makes a good oil pressure pretty quick. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you're wondering what this is, um, Ford calls this a balance shaft. It's only in the V10s. So I've never seen it on a 5.4, and it runs right off the front timing, the gear on the on the cam. So I wonder if it has something to do with backlash or the timing gear. I'm not certain. But uh, anyways, like I said, next step is I'm going to take the passenger side head off. We'll see what that piston looks like in number three. And after I take it apart, if it's not destroyed and it's just got a little damage in it and it might be fixable, then I'll drop the pan. I'll pull the engine, drop the pan, look at the rods, look at the main, see what they look like. Um, regardless, it'll have to get new bearings to be at the very minimum and then whatever it takes to repair it but if the bearings have metal through them which is what I suspect then this will be a parts engine not good for a whole lot but anyways I'll bring you along so give me a couple days and I'll uh, I'll have the next one thanks